Welcome back to Final Leg. So I just wanted to take a couple minutes to highlight the women's triple jump at the Lausanne Diamond League going down this Friday. Now, of course, Lausanne has tons and tons of top events. The women's 100 meters, the men's 200 meters, all those fields are super stacked. But this women's triple jump field is extremely stacked as well. I know the women's triple jump, specifically the women's triple jump, doesn't get as much spotlight, but we need to highlight some of these athletes. Now, Yulimar Rojas, Olympic champion, three-time world champion, world record holder, her world record of 15.67 meters outdoors from last year. She's also jumped 15.74 meters indoors, so just up on that 16 meter barrier. She is definitely gonna be going for something big. She didn't perform as well, well, quote unquote, not as well, she jumped 15.01 meters to win in Monaco. I think she's going to be a little bit hyped up off of that. She wanted something farther. She's going to be looking to do something big here. Just behind her, we also have to talk about Marina Beck Romanchuk. Now, she just won the European Championship title in the triple jump, jumping 15.02 meters, getting over that 15 meter barrier. What's significant is that Beck Romanchuk has been a long jumper for her entire career. She just dipped into the triple jump over the past two years. So for her to really get over that 15 meter barrier, win Europeans, we're gonna see something nice coming in Lausanne off the back of that European Championship. We also can't forget about Shanika Ricketts coming off a silver medal at the World Championships in Eugene. She also won the Commonwealth Games out in Birmingham not too long ago as well. Personal best of 14.98 meters, but this year she has been on the cusp of breaking that personal best, jumped 14.94 meters, also jumped 14.9 a couple times throughout the season. I think she's really going to be looking to get over that 15 meter barrier and really challenge for something big here. We also cannot forget about Tori Franklin from the United States. Now, Franklin's 2022 has been on fire. Of course, highlighted by that bronze medal at the World Championships in Eugene, she had a personal best of 14.84 meters from 2018, but this year, just in Monaco a couple weeks ago, 14.86 meters to improve her personal best. She's definitely looking to improve that and also maybe get over that 15 meter barrier. I can't forget about Thea Lafon. Now, Thea Lafon, she has been on the cusp of something great. She had a huge foul in Eugene that looked to be 15 meters, but personal best right now, 14.60 meters. Coming off a silver medal at the Commonwealth Games just behind Shanika Ricketts, I think Thea Lafond has a lot of potential, so definitely keep a lookout for her. We also need to talk about Patricia Momona from Portugal. Now, Patricia Momona, she has a personal best of 15.01 meters, which got her to the silver medal at the Olympic Games last year. It's so quick how we forget about Patricia Momona and what she's been able to do. Of course, this year, she hasn't been hitting those high marks that we saw from her last year, but she's always going to be in the mix. Can't forget about Kimberly Williams from Jamaica, really doing some great things year after year. Um, Hannah Memenko from Israel, um, Christina Michaela from Finland, right? There's a huge competitive field here in Lausanne. And again, with triple jump, even specifically women's triple jump, doesn't get as much highlight, but this is a huge field. Very soon, I'm gonna be making a video about Yulmar Rojas and how she's kind of been getting slighted in terms of the athlete of the year you know, conversation. Like I said, she jumped 15.74 meters this year. Definitely tune in for that. Go in the comments below. Let me know what you think about this Lausanne Women's Triple Jump. Make sure you like the video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. We'll be back again next time. Thanks.